Welcome to the Aladino Show from Hamptons, New York, covering the Hamptons International Film Festival. I was the uh, writer and director of uh, Decoding uh, Andy Parker and uh, producer as well. Wow, that's a busy man. I, it's been a busy uh, seven years of my life, I'm afraid, yeah. So the process on Decoding Andy Parker, how, how was the process? Uh, the creative process or the process of putting the film together? You know, it was, it was, an, odd, it was an odd mix of things. Um, I had been a cinematographer for um, nearly 30 years, uh, shot films like, uh, like Water for Chocolate, uh, shot Monster, which of course won the uh, Oscar for Charlize Theron. So I had a pretty happy and uh, easy life, and part of me still says I should have kept it that way. Um, a friend of mine, the uh, producer of Decoding Annie Park, uh, sorry, producer of, uh, of Monster, Clark Peterson, um, had always encouraged me to direct. He knew that I wrote this uh, book about film production, which was used at a lot of universities. He knew that I directed commercials. Uh, he knew that I had written a lot of plays. He said, you really should direct. I said, Clark, here's the problem with directing a feature film. You make it, it takes seven years, and you may have a, a little or you may have a great deal of success, but you never know. So don't worry, we have the money, it's going to be really quick. Seven years later, you know, here we are. Um, what he had right was we had some measure of success. We just won the, uh, the Seattle Film Festival, uh, Best in Fest. Uh, Samantha Morton, who's one of our leads, uh, who already had two Oscar nominations, got Best Actress. Uh, at the Seattle Film Festival, so um, the film's doing uh, pretty well. But that was the hard thing. What people don't realize, um, as filmmakers, we think of ourselves as artists, uh, unfortunately, how much finance is tied up with realizing our vision. And a lot of this seven years was just raising money, and then after raising the money, utilizing the money, then getting more money, and then keeping everybody happy with the money that we have. So, you know, that's not the happiest part of filmmaking, but it seems the most necessary. So that was my most difficult and object lesson. And then at the end you see the result and you see all those prices coming and coming and all those, the glory. So that's your relief. What do you think in that moment? You know, it's funny. I, I, it's funny you should ask. You know, I thought it was going to be so much more fun in a way. <laughs> I, I thought the, the rewards, would, would the, the prize would make a difference. The, the greatest satisfaction, I think, is that we've been able to connect to people on an individual basis. Uh, a lot of the film is very comic, very funny. Um, to sit in, in, a, in a room, to sit in a, in, a, in a theater with an audience like we did here and hear everyone laughing for the first two-thirds of the film and then seeing them crying in the last third uh, is important to me um, in many different levels. You feel that you've actually achieved something and then we've been following it with a Q&A afterwards because the film's about cancer, it's about some important political issues and then um, as we hear what the audience has to say and how much we've connected with them, I know it sounds facile and, and disingenuous, but it really does make a profound difference to me. So the, the, the prizes are great, the recognition is great, the fact that it seems the film's going to do okay financially for all my investors is wonderful, but uh, the personal connection with the audiences for me has been the thing that has been singular and most satisfying. Yes, because I heard some of the producers and directors, they mentioned before that the reward, like the, 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 what they feel is that the people love the, the, they don't care too much about the Oscars or the Grammys or the, 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 the statues. They care about that the people go and see. Absolutely right. And that's what you don't realize when you set out to make it. Because, you know, when you're going through difficult times, in fact, one of the themes of the film is how myth sustained us. When we're in difficult times, we imagine the world is better. We imagine the world is malleable, something we can change and adjust. And thinking that as bad as it is now, it'll change uh, later. Um, so 
you know, the myth is sustaining it, and the myth in film is that, oh, you're going to win an award, you're going to get an Oscar, you're going to get recognition, and then suddenly you make the film, and as you rightly say, those things matter less and less, and then the audiences matter more and more, and you feel, hey, maybe I've made a small difference in someone's life, maybe they've connected, maybe, um, you know, they understand something they didn't understand before. You know, there's a quote that says, uh, one of the functions of art is so that we know that we're not alone, and, you know, we've sensed that sense of, of camaraderie with an audience. It sounds pretentious, but that's been my greatest pleasure thus far. What we learn in the course of our film is that there's a genetic link to many uh, cancers. And once we understand the genetics, as we unravel the genome, it offers great hope and opportunity to the millions of people who suffer from different types of, uh, of cancer. My particular film is about uh, breast and ovarian cancer, and the work of Mary Claire King has revolutionized the way we look uh, at that particular uh, illness, particularly something called the BRCA1 gene, which is, affects about 10% of all cancer, breast cancer sufferers. So her work has been revolutionary. She's changed the way all doctors look at all diseases. So I don't know if uh, cancer is curable now, but if it is going to be curable in the future, uh, it's this woman, uh, Mary Claire King, who took the first steps on that road. All right, dear viewers, I hope you are enjoying all this footage that we bring to you. All this is made possible thanks to you. Who? The sponsors. Yes, with your donations on our website, aladinoshow.com, we get to go to all those places and bring all those images to you. It costs a lot of money to go to those places. It costs a lot of money to invest on material, equipment, editing, photography. Everything is very expensive here in New York. Just the apartment, just to live here in New York is so expensive. So we need your support. Every single day we are hitting the streets to bring you what's happening in New York City, the best high-class events in New York City. So please, don't hesitate. Go to our website, aladinoshow.com, and send us your very welcome and blessed donation. Yes! It's the immigrants. Taking over, salute, let's have some fun.